Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to make this video to talk about a special piece designed by Cartier. It is the Amulet de Cartier, known as their Lucky Charms. Now let's get started. So Cartier made this collection known as the Enchanting Collection of Colorful Talismans for your most private wishes. Each Amulet de Cartier piece features a unique natural gemstone centered by a glistening diamond and guarded by a padlock to keep your amulet close to your body and your luck even closer. So online there are about three extra small models all in the price range of 1890 US dollars and the chains are either made with rose gold or yellow gold. The one that I have is the yellow gold set with a brilliant cut diamond of 0.02 carats and white mother of pearl. The diameter of the motif is 12 millimeters and the chain is adjustable from 38 to 41 centimeters. Mother of Pearl symbolizes protection. I also have a yellow base skin tone and I find the shimmer from the pearl complements the skin tone very well. But pearl is an easy gem to match to all complexions so this is a very versatile piece that can go well with any outfit and color tone. Cartier has other amulet designs, namely onyx, malachite, and they used to carry it in opal, which is a very pretty pink stone. However, I remember my essay telling me that they may have discontinued the opal collection because of um, some complaints with regards to its wearability, it was changing colors, or it was just not very long lasting. So I like to stack my necklaces. I often wear it with my Cartier Spotlight necklace at different lengths. So if you would like to know more about my Spotlight necklace, I have a review on it on my channel. As you know, Mother of Pearl comes from the mollusks in the sea. As a result, it can be easily damaged. Just say if you're going to go swimming, chlor chlorinated water can be harmful to its luster and shine. Also, using soap when in bathing, shampoo, all these external substances can be too alkaline for it and can also damage its polish. Mother of Pearl is also very brittle. It can start to show signs of deterioration if stored in a very dry environment. I was once told by um, another uh, Mother of Pearl um, designer known as Mikimoto to never store my pearls in the safety deposit box in the bank because the humidity levels there are too low and, um, and many people have left their pearls in the safety box and only to find it crumbling you know, after many years. So, so definitely keep that in mind when storing pearl jewelry. Also, pearl can be very soft and brittle. Um, it can be easily scratched if you, if you wear it against other heavier metals. So also need to be aware of that. So as a result, I only wear this necklace as a fashion accent. I pretty much have to baby it um, because I'm quite particular about keeping the jewelry, you know, in pristine condition. Um, I would not clean it in a jewelry cleaner. Maybe just use a soft towel to give it a wipe, you know, um, just clean the diamond a little bit. Um, when I go bathe, I will ch uh, try to remember to remove it so that, you know, I minimize the damage to the pearl and to its polish. However, I do know that there are a lot of fashion vloggers out there who have worn this particular piece um, day to day in the shower, in the pool, and have had no issues. So it's really up to you how much you want to baby it. Um, but I do feel if you want to have it last a long time, uh, definitely do try to give it as much care as you can. So the other stones that Cartier uses is onyx and malachite, which I believe are stronger and more durable stones. So if you're looking for something that's a little more hardy and you don't mind the different colors because onyx is black and malachite can, is green, that those would be great options to try as well. So do you have a necklace that you really enjoy wearing every day or you have a, ne a, a necklace that you have to baby? Please share them below in the comments with, with me and I would love to learn about your experiences. So I hope you find this video informative and useful and if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them down below. I look forward to hearing from you soon and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you again. Bye now.